Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a 8,000 uh, watts generator to power your whole house, including the high energy consumption four-ton air conditioner unit, simply running on natural gas. One of the challenge with regards to uh, powering the house with a uh, portable generator is, first of all, the fuel consumption. Uh, most of the uh, portable generator runs on gasoline, which when you have a power outage, uh, most of the gas stations stop working. So you have to have gasoline stored in your house. Well, the drawback with storing the gasoline in your house is that, well, it's not going to last very long unless you put um, fuel stabilizer. Typically, the shelf life is six months. Yes, of course, you can blend with a fresher gasoline uh, with the old one to make it work. But again, gasoline has a shelf life, and when you have a power outage, you have no way to get the gasoline. As an alternative, you could consider using another energy source, which is propane. It has much longer shelf life, uh, but on the other hand, it has a it has much lower energy density, therefore it does not generate as much power and this can run out much faster than running on gasoline for one propane tank. But if you have a large propane tank, that would be another alternative. And since I am uh, located in an area that has a natural gas, and typically when the power outage happens during the hurricane seasons or freezes, we still have um, natural gas supply. So the idea is that how are we going to use a affordable priced generator at around 8,000 running watts to power the whole house, including the AC unit? What you do is that you can do a tri-fuel conversion device that, uh, that basically prior to the uh, oxygen reach the carburetor, um, you add another input of a uh, of an alternative fuel like propane or, or natural gas and then the combustion happens. So you don't really need to have a gasoline in your tank at all. It will keep your engine clean. It will not jam up your carburetor. So that's another advantage. But of course, the challenges in terms of energy density, the natural gas burns much cleaner, but at the same time has much lower energy density. So in light of a power outage, typically you can power most of the appliances with natural gas. But one big challenge is, is the, to power the, um, the air conditioner unit. So the hope is that by a sort of a, a list of engineering design that we can make it happen. And the next thing I did besides the tri-fuel conversion is, uh, is to connect it to have a natural gas output where they can easily connect it into my generator. So as long as I can have a sustainable supply of natural gas, I will be able to power the whole house. What you need is a, a quarter inch nipple with a, with a conversion of adapter from quarter inch to a three quarter inch, and then a three quarter inch elbow, three quarter inch um, valve, and then an easy uh, connect for the uh, gas hose. With a larger diameter and a shorter gas hose, that gives you an abundant supply of gas as well as a decent pressure maintenance for the generator to, to pull as much uh, fuel as needed to, uh, to reach a certain level of wattage. And thank God that our home has already come with the um, alternative uh, power switch that you can switch from the main power on the grid to auxiliary power which is coming from the generator. The next thing I'm going to show you is the re-engineering re of your AC. What you see over here is a soft starter. This soft starter device helps you to start the AC compressor with a much lower amperage. That way, 
it reduces the, num the peak wattage for you to start your AC compressor thereby allowing the AC to pull enough power from the generator to supply the AC. Before I install the soft starter, it requires more than a hundred amp to start my AC. With the installation of the soft uh, micro air soft starter, it allowed me to start my AC with an average of 23 amp. That is a big game changer because that means I will be able instantaneously to pull out a decent amount of power from my generator to start this and a much lower power to run this which is about uh, 2400 um, watts. So let's see how the system works. I have already connected the hose, gas hose, into my, uh, um, into my generator. All I have to do here is to connect the easy connect into the gas pipeline. It's done. Auxiliary power into my this is 50 amp Lima plug with a four prong. But it typically, in this standard generator, you can at most typically pull out 30 amp during run time. That gives you roughly about 7,200 watts. But of course, you can get more peak watts out of it. So I'm going to do the connection here. There we go. Okay. We're going to open up with the AC to get a realistic measurement when we're using the generator, how much power it requires to start this AC. So first of all, the way that you install the micro air soft starter is that by connecting this wire coming out from the micro uh, air soft starter into the uh, instruction that they gave you, you splice the yellow wire and connect it uh, into the, uh, the, the brown wire and then the white wire is replacing the original yellow wire that connected to the controller and then you plug in additional black wire and uh, the, the orange wire goes into the herm. So make sure you read the instruction. So that's how the AC works. So let's get this thing started. going to turn the AC on and do a measurement to find out if it's working or not. So my AC specification is 4 ton AC. So make sure that you read your AC's specification to find the right soft starter that fits your AC and it requires five times training to get the best ampage to fire up your AC. It's working! So 
this is 29.1 M. This is a big difference between 117 amps as the uh, menu suggested for the for the starting amp. And just to make sure that the AC is working properly, let me measure the running amp. 29.1 And it only requires 8.3 amps to run this AC. Thank you so much for watching. We have a working solution to power the whole house including the AC. I have listed all those items on the link below for you to look up online to see that you could also do it yourself to have a weatherproof, sustainable, natural gas run generator that powers your whole house, including the AC. Thank you for watching.